is irregular type of bone parts of hip bone this upper part is called as ilium this in front is called as pubis and behind by which this bone is hold in place where fingers are this is ischium which is placed posteriorly now this circular opening here where this is foramina which is called as obturator foramina so this ischium is placed behind and posterior to this obturator foramina pubis is placed anterior to obturator foramina and ilium which this upper expanded part is placed above this obturator foramina so hip bone is combination of this three bones which are united together at this fossa which is called as acetabulum so upper part of this acetabulum is formed by ilium in front by pubis and behind by ischium they are meet in the acetabulum by y shaped cartilage during intrauterine life after that after birth this acetabulum and cartilage is fused here to form completely formed hip bone now now we will see in details of, about ilium so this upper blade of ilium is called as iliac crest iliac crest and anterior most point of this iliac crest is called as anterior superior iliac spine if you trace this anterior border below another pointed point here is called as anterior inferior iliac spine if you trace this iliac crest behind this point is called as posterior superior iliac spine and below that this another point is called as posterior inferior iliac spine now this ilium is having this medial surface and this gluteal surface this surface is gluteal surface and this is may this is medial surface which is divided by this medial border into iliac fossa and sacropelvic surface so this surface is sacropelvic surface and this is iliac fossa separated by this medial border now if you look carefully at iliac crest this iliac crest is sinusly curved so for descriptive purpose it is divided into ventral 2/3 and dorsal 1/3 this part is ventral 2/3 and posterior this part is dorsal 1/3 now this iliac crest is having inner lip and outer lip now highest point on iliac crest is not exactly the middle of this iliac crest it is just behind the middle point of iliac crest and it corresponds with l4 l5 vertebra now 5 cm behind the anterior superior iliac spine this prominence is called as iliac tubercle now this sacropelvic surface i told you this is iliac fossa and this is sacropelvic surface sacropelvic surface is again divided into roughened iliac tuberosity this auricular surface for attachment of sacrum this auricular surface for attachment of sacrum and this is pelvic surface that's why this is called as sacropelvic surface now if you trace posterior superior iliac spine below it continues here as greater sciatic notch after that this is ischial spine and this is lesser sciatic notch now this is pubis bone this is body of pubis body of pubis superiorly it is having superior ramus 
and this is inferior ramus of pubis. This one is inferior ramus of pubis, which is joined by the ramus of ischium to form conjoined ischiopubic ramus. The superior ramus, superior ramus is having superior border, anterior border, and posterior border. This anterior border is also called as obturator crest. Superior border is called as pectineal line. This superior border is called as pectineal line, which is sharp here which is sharp here and this is inferior border which is nothing but the margin of this obturator foramen. Now body of pubis is having anterior surface, symphysial surface which articulates with the other side symphysial surface of pubis bone to form pubic symphysis and this Posterior is the pelvic surface of pubis. This is pelvic surface of pubis. In that is about pubis. Now this is ischium. This is called as ischial tuberosity. This is here head of femur articulate to form hip joint. So this is femoral surface of pubis and this is inferior ramus of pubis which joins with the inferior ramus of pub uh, pubis to form conjoined issue pubic ramus. And this is pelvic surface of ischium. This is pelvic surface of ischium. This pointed point here, this pointed point here is ischial spine, ischial spine. Above ischial spine, this is greater sciatic notch and below ischial spine, this is lesser sciatic notch, which are converted by sacrospinous and sacrotuberous ligament into greater sciatic foramina and lesser sciatic foramina. So this is acetabulum, this is rim of acetabulum where acetabulum labrum attach and deepens down this fossa. This is articular surface. This surface, which is lunate shaped, is the articular surface. This is acetabular fossa. This gap is acetabular notch, which is converted into foramina by transverse acetabular ligament. The superior border of superior ramus of pubis, this is called as pectineal line which continues and meet the medial border of ilium and this, this eminence is called as iliopubic eminence. This prominent is iliopubic eminence and this continues and this pectineal line also forms the one of the part of arcuate line. Below this auricular surface, this sulcus is called as preauricular sulcus and which is more prominent in multiparous women due to attachment of ligaments which are stressed uh, during parturitions. 